This is a tutorial for how to use Tofu's Auto Splitter with console games. I'm using Ocarina of Time as an example. Once you've downloaded the Auto Splitter, you'll need to give it a folder to put the screenshots you're about to take. Once it knows which folder to pull the screenshots from, you're going to select the region that the Auto Splitter will be looking at. You want to make this your entire gameplay screen. Now that it knows what to look at, it needs screenshots of what frame you want it to split at. So auto split comes with a screenshot function, which is perfect. So while it's looking at my OBS, I'm going to go to the frame that I want to split at. For me, this is when the icon appears in the text box. So after I open the chest, it'll display the icon, which is what I want the auto splitter to see. So I'm going to go back to auto split and click take screenshot. This will put the screenshot in the folder you told it to. Now that we have the screenshot of the whole screen, we're, we want to edit the screenshot to take away everything we don't want it to look for. So you're going to need a photo editor tool. Nothing fancy, Tofu recommends paint.net as well as other people who use this auto splitter because it's really easy to use for our purposes, so I'll be demonstrating how to do it in that. So in paint.net, open the screenshot that you took. We're going to be creating a masked image, which is one that doesn't look at what is not in the current screenshot. And we're going to do that by making everything else transparent. So click on the rectangle select and create a square around what you want the auto splitter to see. It's important here that you use the actual delete key and not backspace. We want these to be transparent, which is the checkerboard pattern. Pressing backspace will give it a solid color, which if left in, the auto splitter will look for it. So make sure you use delete. You want it to be pretty tight. So once you've gotten the square pretty tight around the thing, Zoom in with the tool at the bottom right so we can make the box a little more specific in placement. It doesn't have to be completely boxed in, but we don't want to give it too much leeway in terms of background. Once that's done, save the picture. The naming is really important because the auto splitter reads the shots in numerical order. Once again, this is a masked image which is flagged with an M in curly brackets and information is separated with underscores. Make sure it's the right number in line with your splits and save it. And that's one split. Now when the program is on that screenshot, everything that was transparent will not be seen and only the spot on the screen where the icon will be at will be looked for. Now let's say you want to split on text, like when entering an area for the first time. We can use a different tool to make very specific things non-transparent. So once again, take a screenshot with the text you want it to see and open it in your paint editing program. Once again, make a small box around the text by making everything else transparent. Now go to the magic wand tool and click outside the text. Everything outside the moving lines will, will be affected by your next move, which is pressing the delete key and making it transparent. If the area isn't specific enough or too specific, you can adjust the tolerance up, here, or down and it'll affect how strict the magic wand is. So once it's selected the text pretty snug, make it transparent. And it's done. Save it and name it the same way using the same flag rules, using M in curly brackets and numbering it accordingly. Last thing you want to do is set your timer global hotkeys. These need to be the same that are on your splitting program. That's how it splits for you. And that's it. There's more you can do in terms of how the auto splitter treats the screenshots this is just the most common way that I use it, especially for Ocarina of Time. You can have the auto splitter ignore a particular screenshot you think might be seen twice in a row. You can edit how long it posits its search between splits, how strict the similarity threshold is, and a lot more. I'll link Tofu's GitHub page in the description where he has a text tutorial plus how to use all its other features. Have fun auto splitting.